I've already done a brand of these Faraday bags on the channel, but that one used magnets and this one has this nice toggle and I believe a magnet too, we'll unroll that. It may not, it may just unfold, but the other one only has one fold. This has two folds plus this to secure it. So I thought we would test this one too. I think this Bluetooth radio is gonna fit in there. And then this is sold as an EMP bag from a different company. This will not have the level of protection that this does. This will protect from high energy stuff like an electromagnetic pulse, whereas this should block Bluetooth, cell, GPS, RFID, uh, NFC, etc. And Godark is a company like some of these other brands. Um, here's that other brand one I did. It's much bigger. Uh, obviously, they have bigger ones, but you know. They, they all kind of sell the same thing, just different formats and different looks. Some people may like the aesthetic of this, this gray. And let me go ahead and get this off while we talk. The, the thing about these, if you haven't seen the other video, is you have all these devices on you that are emitting stuff, you know, they're connecting to stuff, they're connecting to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, RFID, everything that I said already, and that's cool, but sometimes you want privacy. Um, say you're in a bad domestic situation and you don't want your phone tracked by your partner because you're trying to get away, but you're gonna need your phone. Even if you turn like an Apple phone off, an iPhone off, you can still find it via Find My iPhone if that's enabled. It's just easy to throw it in here and that should block that. Another thing, car keys now. They have the remote start, they have the push button start. All those ones with push button start are using some kind of RFID or NFC. I think it's RFID because of the distance. And that is sending, you know, a frequency to the car. So if the keys are within range of that antenna, someone can push that button and start your car. It'll shut off after a set amount of time, depending on the manufacturer. But what's happening is people are stealing cars that way. They come around and they get into your car, they start your car and drive down the road, and then they can have time to bypass that or do other things. Or they can just clone your keys. They can get, if you've got them up by your front door, they can just walk down your sidewalk or come into your driveway at night, clone your keys, and then take your car. You put it in something like this, that signal's not getting out, not a problem. And these companies sell, you know, different size ones. So you could get one that would, you know, fit in your bag or you just keep it on the table by the door or whatever, put your keys in there to come home, peace of mind. So. Let me show you the test here on this one. Go ahead and turn this Bluetooth speaker on. And I'm just gonna play. Yeah, you can just do that fine. The phone auto plays when it connects. Uh, I'm just gonna play a video of mine that I released today. That way we don't get uh, demonetized or copyright striked. So I'm gonna put it in this bag. And this bag is gonna be around 45 decibels of attenuation. We've got it sealed really good. Oh, it still works. Notice there is a ton of rock dust that comes up off of this from the plate. So you definitely want to do this in a well ventilated area. Um, I've got the garage door open. I really should have So you can tell it works and just to keep it fair. You could also just do a little bit of PPE. Definitely not the kind of dust and stuff you're gonna bring in, so keep that in mind. I want to do this So now let's try it in uh, here. It should fit. fit. Just for my own sanity, I like to do it in the garage. Normally I'll have a cross breeze growing with that door too, but not today because I've been going inside. Come on, I'm attended. I'm watching it with the camera. So it still works. As soon as we close that, I'll even put the phone here so you can see it. I'm really happy with that setting. Cool. So just barely pinching that's enough to shut it off and you're gonna fold that twice and then you're gonna hook that on there. Now here in a second, yep, see it's already realized that it's lost connection and here in a minute, there it goes, it beeps to tell us it's lost the Bluetooth connection. So we'll undo that, we'll open that back up, should reconnect. And get access to it really easy. Yeah. It's a great website, they also have like, um... That's amazing. I love these things. If I don't remember to put that in the video and you can see it. Here again, it's gonna shut off in a second. Let's wait for it. There it goes. It is now shut off. It's lost its Bluetooth signal. We'll open it back up. 
Give it a second. There we go. I don't think anything's gonna really happen, but. So there you go. And it is working. Now here on the card, you can see they talk about, you know, it'll block Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, cellular, EMF, EMP, some, something people do, or some something people do. Guys, I need some caffeine. Um, one of the reasons people use these is they're worried about just general EMF. So they think that the electromagnetic field coming from their electronic device like impacts them negatively. They can put it in here and then it can't get out just like it can't get in. So, you know, that's up to you. I'm not sure that's a thing, but some people think that's a thing. And even if it's placebo effect for them, awesome, because it is going to block stuff. Now, who is this for? Uh, if you work in a secure job, if you, you know, deal with very high end clients or something and you want to rest assure them that they're not being spied on by your device. If you're in a bad domestic situation and you need to stop that tracking feature, or if you just don't want people poking around on your phone, it is very easy to get access to someone's phone these days. There's always exploits coming up that are found for Android, for iOS, for all kinds of things. Uh, same thing with your keys. You know, there's a lot of crazy gadgets out there that can do a lot of things. And this blocks those signals from getting in or out. Um, this does claim it does between 200 megahertz and 40 gigahertz in the book, which is CDS is there CDMA, GSM, PHS, DCS, 3G, 4G, 5G, LTE, Wi-Fi from 2.4 to 6 gigahertz, Bluetooth at 2.4 gigahertz, GPS at 1 to 2 gigahertz. This would um, handle a high altitude EMP to military standard 188, 125, 2. Again, these would work fine for an EMP. They're about 45 decibels of attenuation, maybe 50. This is gonna be closer to like 80, 85 decibels of attenuation. You're gonna get a bunch better coverage there, not only from something high energy like DMP, but to block all these signals that we're talking about. This does come with a two year warranty. It does have a felt lining in it, which is nice so you're not scratching your screen. It does have a little bit of padding, plenty for your phone. I don't have the tablet one to test, but I, I would hope the tablet one has a little bit more padding because they're much larger and you know, Flexigum's not that great, but I can't speak to that. So the maximum device you could fit in here is about 3.25 inches wide by 6.75 inches. So some of the bigger phones won't fit in this model, but they do have bigger models. And yeah, just when you put your device in there, always make sure that you're folding that and rolling that up and then securing it because that's going to ensure that no signal's getting in there. You get a little bit of up and it's gonna happen. Now you did see where just barely closing it works, but I wouldn't count on that. Always make sure you do the fold and roll. Uh, never have a cable sticking out. If a cable's sticking out, it's gonna act like an antenna and just channel whatever right in there. In anything that's extruding is going to allow signals to get in or out, so keep that in mind. And yeah, this feels very quality. It's, it's nice and stiff. It's got a good feel to it, good texture. I wanna kinda live with this thing for a while. Um, this other brand I'm testing for like several weeks or a couple months just to see how it holds up. I'm gonna do the same with this, just throw it in my bag and you know, put a phone that I'm not using in there so it's kind of you know holding the shape that it would and just see how it holds up. Now, the shielding can degrade over time on these, so you should test your bag regularly. You saw what I did there with the Bluetooth speaker. Um, you could do the same with a Bluetooth speaker in your house and then just put your phone in there as the test thing. Got this gray brick and this red brick. See, as soon as I took it out of the bag, it reeked. That's crazy. <laughs> like, I just like when you can demonstrate something like that and know that it works. Pretty cool. So this is not water resistant. Uh, it is not a dry bag. You cannot submerge it underwater. Keep that in mind. You should not put this in the washing machine either. It can damage the internals and then it becomes ineffective. You can use a damp cloth to like clean the surface if you spill something on it. But I would be very careful even doing that. And yeah, you can just, this is just Godark bags. Um, I all have a link to them in the description. This is the uh, FP B01 model. It's for your phone. You can go on there, just make sure you check the measurements of your device so it's gonna fit and that it'll close adequately and stuff. This, this is pretty great. I really like that roll up. Um, that other brand, it just has a single flap magnet, but it's pretty strong. Rolling that up gives me a lot more peace of mind. Um, just my two cents. And that's been a, another Faraday bag. Um, maybe I should get some bigger ones from them and test those too. Let me know in the comments. Uh, these are a little pricey, 
So if you'd love to contribute on Patreon or give me a super thanks, I would appreciate it because I really want to test a bunch of bigger versions of these for like power stations and stuff, but a little outside of my budget right now. I know times are tough, but if you can help, that'd be great. I'll see you guys in the next video.